So in the final part of our iOS tutorial, we're going to finish the design and we're going to make the app look good. So we're going to do this by changing the colors and text styles in the main.storyboard. Right now we just have a pretty simple basic layout, but now we want to add some pizzazz to it. And this is because it's important to make our app look visually appealing, otherwise no one's really going to want to use it, including us. So this is the final part of the iOS tutorial. So we're going to basically test our app and then make it look a little prettier because right now we just have a very basic design layout that looks let me just minimize that a little like this so it's the same Xamarin Studio setup here I've just shrunk it down a bit so that we can see the phone emulator as well so if we take our app and we so basically we'll go to the compound interest calculator the iOS and we're just going to right click on that so this is just up under solutions and it's the iOS one to right click scroll down to run with we're going to go over to iPhone 5s we're going to select that and it will basically build it and run our app in the iPhone 5s so let's close that so this is what it looks like right now we have the four input fields we have the button and then we have final investment value is and then whatever it is so let's go ahead and output some, or rather input some values. So let's say this is 5,000 we're investing originally. It's 5%. It's compounding once per year. And let's say we're investing it for 20 years. Let's calculate the final investment. And we guess it's showing up to be $13,266.49. If you want to check the math, you can, but I believe that's right. So notes how only two decimal places are displayed that's due to this nice little line that we implemented here and now we know that everything's working we say it says final investment value is and it has the real value and that's all we want it to do the only thing I want to change here is if I go to the print function I want to just include the dollar sign so I'm just going to add that in here just for the quotations otherwise we're good we're going to save this so command s We'll save that. I'm going to stop running this and let's make it look a little better. So if we go to main storyboard and what we're going to do is I'm just going to expand this back because we no longer need to see the phone emulator and open that up a little bit. Okay, so let's start with the background. So if we select the background by just clicking on anything that's not one of the fields then we can go under properties and let's change the color so we'll scroll down to where it says here background let's give it a different color we'll scroll down to other and let's give it one of these green colors how about this one yeah that's pretty nice and now we have the background color we're going to change the color of each individual box so we we'll go to the first one and again under this is still under widget what we can do if we want to make sure that everything's in line is we can go to layout and we can change the width and the height so let's just do this is right now it's 31 let's just do 30 and the width will change to be 30 as well nope that's not what we want we want that to be what's a good width 260 oh you can't really can't really see what's there but right now it's at 260 okay and so we'll do the same for all of these so this will be 30 this will be 260 and I'm just selecting each one in turn and just changing these values so it's 260 again so have this 30 and 260 Okay, and this one I'm going to make a little bigger, so I'm going to say is 20 and 280. So again, this is all in this field right here, which is under view, under layout, in properties. And this one I'm going to say is 30 again. I'll give it the width again of 260. Now let's change the height of each because it's a little small. And in fact, we can't because it is under a certain 
style that I don't really want. So what we're going to do is under each one we're going to look under text field. First things first, we're going to center the text, but we'll deal with that later. And then we'll change the border style to this dotted one. Okay, so that just gets rid of the borders here. That way we can go back to layout and we can change the height. So this is at 60 right now. Let's give it the height of 40 and let's see how that looks. That's a little better. So right now, let's give this, let's see. We Do we want to, how far do we want to change it? Let's just leave it right there for now and we'll just change the height. So again, we'll have to go to widget first and we'll scroll to this and back to layout and we will just change the height to 40. So that's what we had for principal investment, that was 40. It's gonna be 40. Let's do the same for this. Again, under widget, it's gonna be the border style and 40. And the last one and 40 for the height. Very good. So that's good. Let's in fact just change the height a little bit there. We can do that either manually through here or we can just do it right here. And this I'm not going to bother filling in the values. You can do that if you want but I'm just going to increase the size here. Alright, in fact I'll make this a little smaller. Cool, so let's change the backgrounds of these because I don't want them to be invisible here. So we will go down to the background here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do this light text color and that will just change it to kind of a light green here. So it just does a lighter version of the background if we do that. And I'm going to do that for each one. Background's going to be light text. Same with this one. And same with this one. Whereas this one, I want to remain black. So let's go ahead and change the text. In fact, let's first change the button. So let's give this a different color. So we'll scroll down again and we'll go background. This time we'll choose a different color. So let's give this kind of a blue color. How does that look? Well, let's see. I'm not sure I'm loving that color, so let's change that. We'll give it something dark, maybe. Yeah, that's a pretty good color. So let's just move this down a little bit. Perfect. And we'll move this up a tiny bit. Excellent. So that's looking pretty good so far. We'll change the text values of all of them now. And let's move this down a bit so that it's not overlapping the button. Excellent. So first things we want to do is we'll want to scroll up to the text fields and we'll center them all. And then we're going to change the text. We're going to go under, under text field again. So I just selected font and I clicked on this T and you go font and you select custom and let's select Avenir next. Style regular, let's do medium and let's just increase the size to be, let's let it take in size 18. Okay, and we'll do this for all the others. So again, center the text, we'll go custom, it's going to be Avenir next, it's going to be medium, and we'll do 18. So again, same thing for all of these, just changing it to be something a little more interesting, because we want our app to be pleasing to the eye, otherwise no one's really going to want to use it. I mean, how many apps have you decided that you don't really like anymore just because they don't look very good? I think visual appeal is very important. And again, medium. And we'll change this to 18. Okay, so we've got those set up. Now we want to change a button text. So let's 
change this text. We'll have the text color be white. It's easy to see on the dark blue background. We'll change the font again. So let's just select Avenir for all of these just to keep things simple. And instead of regular, we'll have it bold. Is that too bold? Let's do demi bold. Okay, and there we go. And we'll have this one. Final investment value is we'll have it over two lines. So we'll probably need them. And again, just changing the font here. We'll use Avenir next also. This one was is going to be demi bold. We'll increase the font size. We want this one to really stand out. There we go. And let's in fact have this in white. Because the white is easy to see against the dark green background there. Okay. Well, this looks a lot better. Let's save this and let's run our app again. So let's go to, again, we're going to go up here in solution. I'm going to right click the iOS one. We'll do run with the iPhone 5S. And this is just building it. And yeah, this is what it should look like. It looks a lot better than what we had before. So we'll just get rid of that. And we'll close it up a little bit. Ah, oh, excellent. Looks much better now. So let's do 5,000 again. Interest, let's have 5% once a year. Number of years will be 20. And we'll calculate the final investment. And there we go. Beautiful. So that's the app in iOS. And we will take a look at building it in Android. In the final part of our iOS tutorial, we finished the design of our app and made it look good. So first we ran it just as it is and saw that it was pretty plain so we decided to change it up change the background colors and change the text styles in the main.storyboard class to make it look good so by now you should be able to customize the appearance of your app and make something that looks good and that people will want to use because that's very important to have good visual appeal